Ha! And now we're gonna give you a little secret and an annual test drive of natural skiers for a ski that is probably fulfilling the needs of most amount of skiers on the slope. And I'm talking about the Ed V10 because it can do everything well going on the grooms, going in the glades, going in the moguls. And we tend to forget it. I don't know why, but when people are calling me up and says, well, what kind of skis? I do this. I do mostly everything. I'd like to have a ski that could go in the powder a bit, go in the grooms, go in the moguls. I'm like, oh, the Ed V10. Because it is well built, it is super light. There's no metal into this ski, it's carbon. And it's 85 under the foot. So it will still carve very well, but a huge front tip will lift it up in the snow or junk snow or spring skiing. It will go into moguls because it's not too stiff and it won't catapult you up in the air so that you don't have any control. It will go in the glades full speed. So it does everything well. And recently I sold two of those skis to one guy from Val Saint-Con who was exposing to me as problem to find the perfect ski to do everything. And I really, even myself, stopped and, and until V10. One of the guy from Sutton who likes to do the grooms in Sutton. Don't people like to do the glades in Sutton? He likes to do the grooms in Sutton and sometimes go in the glades. V10. 85 under the foot, if that's too wide for you because you're smaller or less powerful, then you go for the V8, which is exactly the same construction, but 75 under the foot instead of 85. Some people do prefer a ski that is thinner under the foot, okay? A couple of years back, I loved it in my test drive and two coaches from the elite ski team in the Laurentian called me up and said, do you really like it that much? Yes. And as they were sponsored by Ed, they could order whatever they want as their pair of skis for the season and they order a V10 and they absolutely loved it. So these intermediate skiers in Val saint Ome or Sutton are these two high level coach who really liked it, then I like it. I think it's a sure home run. Now, from the previous model to this one, there's a new exciting upgrade technically is that they did put in the EMC energy management circuit that you can find into the World Cup skis from Ed. And what is it basically is that when a ski vibrates, this, vib this vibration is captured under the form of energy and redistributed through a thin layer of graphene, which is used only by Ed in the ski business. They have a patent on that and they're not gonna give it away because it works so well in their race skis, in their detune race skis, and now into the everyday skis like the V10 and V8. So basically it absorbs and captures the bad vibration and throw in energy to control and have a very soft and perfect good vibration. Understand my point? So there's not a lot of flaws. Maybe some people would think it's too light. Uh, maybe for people who are really heavy, they will prefer a ski that is not made out of carbon, but made out of metal, then that's not a ski for you. But yet again, you won't go into the moguls with those skis. You'll go on the piste, on piste, and you'll go climb maybe with skins with those, but that's the way to go. So most people that I sold it to are just ecstatic about it. And that's your proposition for next year, 22-23 season, the Ed Vitem.